These next two icons here will insert edit a link or this one will remove a link. A link is text or pictures that when clicked on will navigate the user to a different website or a picture or some other place that you want to take them once they click on that link. For example, if we were to highlight this line here and click on insert link, this dialog box comes up so that we can actually type in the type of link we're using. If we want to link to another URL, or we can use this to link to an anchor within the document that we have pulled up. We'll show you anchor in a moment. For example, once we click the link, if we want to take the user to Google, we'll type in www.google.com and this tab shows the target. The target is how the link will be pulled up. The link can be pulled up in a pop-up window which is another window that comes up on top or it can be pulled into a brand new blank window or you have other options also. This will be the name that will be given to the new window. Upload is if you would like to upload a document or other file that will be accessed when the link is clicked on. And the advanced will give other HTML descriptions to the link. We'll click on OK for our going to Google link. You'll notice here that the text is now blue and underlined. This is the standard format of links that browsers use on the internet. So these three icons work together as far as adding a link. We can use this one to remove a link. For example, if we click here on this link and click to remove it, then the link is gone. Here's the anchor that we mentioned before. For example, we have multiple pages and the table of contents at the beginning of our document and we want to take people to each of these places by clicking on a link in the document and then going from the table of contents to that actual topic. We can put links in at certain places. For example, if I went down in my document to here, I can click this and actually put a link in. I can call this the sales letter anchor and the anchor would be here at this place. So now when I'm up in the table of contents here I can add a link to this that would say sales letter click here and make the link type link to an anchor in the text. I would click this to select the anchor which is sales letter. I would click OK here and now I have here a link that would take me to this place within the document. This icon here is for adding images to our document. For example, if I want to place an image here in this cell, I can click on the add image and come up with image properties. From here, I can add an image from the server. For example, clicking browse server here takes us to our Mach 1 Systems Autoresponder server. Here are images that are already loaded on the server. I can click here 
and that would bring up this image the image here is 732 pixels wide I can click here to try to adjust it smaller and make it for example 100 pixels this shows text around it to show you a little of how it will look in the document I can also put a border in it I'll make a border three in three pixels around the picture this is the horizontal and vertical spacing as far as how far it will be away from the borders of the cell or from text that will be around the picture here you have the alignment of the text that will be on the line with the picture the alternative text will be the text that the receiver of the document will see before the picture is put in for example if their browser will allow them to not have the picture shown until they click on a button for it then this alternative text will come up link upload here will allow us to actually browse on our computer to find the document to then click this and send it up to the server like you saw those other documents that were on our Mach 1 system server so we'll click OK now and bring the picture in if I want to make this picture larger or smaller all I have to do is click on it grab the corners to keep it proportional if I want to make it wider or taller I can grab one of the middle anchors here and make it taller or I can make it wider here notice too that if I make it wider this way the cell actually opens wider and pushes the text over here as we mentioned we can add the link within the picture while we're bringing the picture in or I can actually click on the insert link here to insert a link or I can click back on the insert edit image to add a link here this icon here will allow you to insert or edit a flash image that's created for example if you're talking to a homeowner who has a particular defect in their property that you would want to tell them a little more about and have someone tell them about the defect we have numerous flash productions on our website that you can insert into your document so that when the person pulls up your email or newsletter they can actually see a motion picture flash of someone describing for example the roof or the electrical system or plumbing system or whatever is in question this icon will allow you to insert or edit tables we'll scroll down a little and click here and insert a table when I click that icon the tables properties dialog box appears at this point you can input the number of rows and columns you want your table to be if we click two here for two rows and two columns you'll have border size or whatever but you can always go back and edit this later we'll click OK and the table will come up here at this point though we can click the table and stretch it to make it as wide as we need from here at this point for instance I could click on another picture or a flash image or whatever and hit control C to copy it and I can come here to this cell in the table and hit control V and actually copy that picture into that cell 